I was planning on filming some dress content after work today, but it sounds like a gnarly thunderstorm is rolling in. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna stay in and read, but I wanna make the house super warm and cozy. And I just installed a ton of lights. And so I thought this would be a really good time to give you guys a house slash light tour. I just picked this book up from Costco. It's like a Mulan retelling and I'm really excited to read it. And I made myself some mint tea. seen how cute it all looks I'll give you the actual details okay, so as you can see our house did not come with the chandelier over our dining area and I wanted something quick and cheap and that I wouldn't have to wire into the ceiling and so we kind of did these floating candles it's a little bit Harry Potter I know it feels a little Christmas and Halloweeny but honestly we keep it up you're out year round because we just think it's really cute and cozy. And actually all of the light bulbs, so the four up in the ceiling, the one over here in this lamp, and the one in this green lamp, these are all Philips Hue lights. So I can change the color of the light bulb and control it from my phone and just make it moody and fun. I think this mushroom light is so freaking cute. And I really do think it kind of gives a whimsical feel. I feel like sometimes with plant walls, it can feel a little bit like, I don't know, tech bro -y. But the lighting in here really makes it feel more whimsical and cottage core, which is definitely what I was going for. I actually recently just moved this green lamp. It used to be over here before I got the mushroom. Moved this over to this corner and I just hung up this mirror and I feel like the bookshelf is just looking so cozy. Like I just wanna snuggle up here all fall long. So I am very pleased with how this is turning out. This is my tiniest little light, but I think it's adorable and so moody and fun and perfect. And I just feel like it really makes the whole bookshelf look a little bit warmer and cozier, so. Oh, and it's a touch light, and so I can just kind of control it and move it as I need to. This is one of my more recent DIY projects, and you can see over here, so this is the kitchen that we had built out already. Um, the lights under the cabinets, I kind of just wanted to match that, so I got these off of Amazon. They are motion sensitive. I have them just switched to on right now, but normally I'll just leave them um, so that if we walk by them, they turn on. It's kind of nice to have at night, honestly. So you can see when you get close to them, they light up, and the nice thing about these is they're just magnetic, and so I can recharge them and then just stick them back up when I'm done. I don't have a ton of lights in here, mostly because obviously when you're watching TV, you don't want it to be too bright, but we don't want it to be completely dark, so I added the sconces. Again, those are battery-powered candlesticks, and then I have just a little battery-powered lamp on the side as well for a little extra ambiance. Hi, Kona. I don't have a ton of light in this hallway. I just have some battery-powered candles, but again, it's hallway, and so either we're using the huge light because we need to see a lot of stuff, or it's just dark and it's nighttime, and so we really just need the mood lighting. I love the way you can see both sets of candles when you're looking at the mirror straight on. This was probably the first room in the house where I was really focused on lighting and making it really moody and cozy and warm. So in the back, obviously, we have that lantern light. Those are real candlesticks, but I wouldn't light them. And then on my desk here, we have a cozy light and you can actually change. You can change the warmth on this. Of course, I like to keep it as warm as possible. And then I did put in a chandelier. And similarly, you can alter. Let me grab the remote here. You can change. Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> the color of white. So I do like to keep it on the coziest. But again, you can have really bright. And then you can also edit how bright it is. And the cool thing about this is it's also a fan. It's called a fandelier. I just got this off Amazon. It was super easy to install, but it's so nice because I hate looking at fans all the time. Back to all the way in the corner here, but here's a little bit of a different view so you can get the full picture. Last but certainly not least is my bedroom. So we actually get a ton of natural light from our bathroom skylight. And so I didn't really need to go crazy in here. It feels kind of moody on its own. So I just added the sconces, the candlesticks. These are the same sconces I have in the TV room and the dining room. I just think they're perfect, simple. They look so good. And then we just kept it simple and we have coordinating um, little side lights. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The window seat upstairs used to be my go-to reading spot, but this is really calling my name. 